I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fossa Kajin Cosplay and tonight we are back here with you guys with Better Call Saul Finale of Season 5, Episode 10 After that we're just gonna wait for Season 6 with you guys yeah. uh, If you know when it's supposed to come out, just tell us because I have no idea if they even started working on it because of Covid and stuff, I don't know So I have no clues In any case, last episode Lalo was Okay. Admitting. Well, he knew that something was off. You know, he knew that Saul coming back with the money and him telling him, "Oh, my car just broke down and I walked to to a shell station or something." He knew that wasn't the truth. So he investigated and he found the car and he just knew that he was being, he was being lied to and that there was a lot more people involved than 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 it seemed. So he went to Jimmy and Kim's place, all intimidating and shit. And uh, yeah, the tension was really high and Mike was right there waiting to shoot if something went out of hand. Good thing that Kim, you know, she, she took the situation into her own hands and she, she was amazing. Lalo said he was going to go back to Mexico. It looks like he left. I kind of hope he did, but at the same time the character, like, I, I expect him to do more. So. One and gone, but we like the character. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But, uh, and Jimmy's dealing with trauma. Kim mm -hmm. quit uh, her firm. So both of them are gonna have to deal with that. Let's, I don't know what they have in store for us for this finale, but I'm excited. It's gonna be big. I know. So let's jump in this episode and see what they have in store for us. All right. Let's go. There's the fact also that Nacho just wants to leave and he can't. They're not gonna let him go. That's not gonna stop him. If he wants to get in, well, he will. They're, they're, they're like way more stressed than we are, so... They deal with death all the time. They could show up with a lot more guys. They don't know. I think we should get out of here. <laughs> you deserve it. Be staying at a motel sex or the nail salon. It's better to have more people around. They have like we've been hanging out with with Lala for a while, so we know kind we kind of know more than they do, and we don't even know if he's gonna show up again. You know. <laughs> He also got he's gotta come to the realization that he put her in this situation. Yep. Am I bad for you? Are you bad for me? What happened tonight? None of this would have happened if you weren't with me. I mean, we've been saying that for a while, but coming from him? Yeah. You crossed the line. You're not gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah. That was so a lie. It's been a long day. Come on, make room. I think he feels deep down that he's gonna be tempted again. And if he is tempted again, she's gonna be in danger. Maybe he's the one that's gonna cut her loose. Because we've been always, you know, saying that she's the one that leaves, or she's the one that dies, or she's the one get, that breaks up with him or something, but maybe it's him. Well, he went over the border and kept going. Looks to be headed for his place in Chihuahua. He took Varga with him. Mm. Does Varga know there's going to be an assassination? No one's told him, but he can make a pretty damn good guess. The men I've chosen for this are highly skilled. They're the best in their business. But the one thing they did not have, he's a man on the inside. So he's gonna try to kill him straight up. Quiero presentarles a Ignacio. Él se va a quedar con nosotros un tiempo. Es un amigo mío. These, these are my people. 
Yolanda, she is the best cook in all of Chihuahua. You're going to eat like you have never eaten before in your life. Cecilio, he takes care of all of my gardens. Uh, Ciro, Miguel, Gerardo, Raul, and all the rest of these fools. They're supposed to be guarding this place, <laughs> but uh, I just keep them around because they're so pretty, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I like him. Like, he's so dangerous, but his personality is amazing. Yeah. This is a prison for Nacho. Literally. Morning. Morning. I didn't wake you, did I? No, you're going to court. Yeah, I have a hearing at 10, and I want to see if I can catch Oakley before I go in. Hey, I think I might have a better idea. What if we spend the whole day here, you know? Uh, this it's place here. has got everything. It's got a heated pool, a swim-up bar, a hot tub. Jimmy, I, I have clients. Yeah. You, you just quit Schweikert. I mean, take one day off. You don't think it's safe? I mean, do you? Probably it is, but... Here's the thing. Well, Lalo has guys, right? So it doesn't really matter where he is. If he finds one loose end, all it takes is a phone call. What's the harm in being a little cautious? What about tomorrow? It's true you can't live your life in fear so, either. What about next week? We just need to keep our eyes open and get on with our lives. Can you got a phone. It's, it's, it's three blocks from here. It's full of cops. Police headquarters is right next door. I mean, if they want to kill them, they will find a way. True. Whether you're here or outside. I mean, that's why he left at the end of Breaking Bad. Because it's better to leave than to pretend or live in fear. When you talk to the boss, you call him Don. He asks you a question, you tell the truth. Fewest words you can. If he likes you, he's gonna give you a bump up. And if he doesn't like me? Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> give me the sake wrench. You're not gonna be there to think about it. He didn't want to get closer to the dawn. He wanted to get away. I have a hard time seeing how we can get away from this. Yeah. Hay un portón en la parte de atrás del lugar de Salamanca. A las tres de la mañana esta noche. Quítale el candado. Ábrelo. Lárgate de ahí. Oh my God. It's happening tonight. Howard? Kim, good to see you. Uh, what for? Three, please. Hey guys, this is Kim Wexler. She's an HHM alum and now heads up banking at Schweikart and Copley. Not anymore. Nice well, to meet you both. I'm actually not at Schweikart anymore. Or in banking, for that matter. Really? As of yesterday. Take care, Howard. <laughs> I mean, that raises flags. <laughs> Before you make any big changes in your life, there's something about Jimmy you ought to hear. <laughs> a little while ago, I offered Jimmy a job at HHM. He said he had to think about it. And he threw a bowling ball in my car. But then the very next night, he threw bowling balls over my front gate. And he sent hookers to the restaurant. Someone been really hurt. A couple of weeks later, I'm having lunch with Cliff Main, and I'm accosted by two prostitutes. Jimmy had sent them to make a scene. I confronted Jimmy about it. He all but confessed. And that's it? <laughs> it's true. What do you want her to do about it? <laughs> She's been dealing with a lot more shit than that, but... <clears throat> Poor Howard. It makes no sense to drop a client like Mesa Verde. I kind of think Jimmy had something to do with that. It was her do choice. Do you have any idea how insulting that is? I make my own decisions. For my own reasons. You gotta listen to me. It's true. The man needs help. Howard, I know Jimmy, and you're wrong. Well, no, he's right, but... Both of them it are came right from a good You know place. who really knew Jimmy? Chuck. 
Oh, that's that's. Ooh. Uh, I think. Because where did he Chuck end up? Was bias? No, but where? About his brother? He said that because where did Chuck end up? Yeah, I know. Asshole. <laughs> Anyone comes here, they, they are so tense, they're trying not to act out of line. He seems right at home. bolsa. <laughs> De parte de Fring. Ah, mm. Excelente. ¿Se te hace? Claro que sí. Bueno, ahora que recuerdo, me encontré esta llave. Digo, no sé si sea de usted. He brought him a car and just like, there you go. Oh, that's how he brings him his money. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to please him. Oiga, tal vez, um, tal vez hay algo en la cajuela. <laughs> it's Vamos a game a for them. En este modelo, la cajuela está aquí adelante. Ah, entonces, <laughs> es un flunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, I see why he likes them. <laughs> Quisiera presentarle a Ignacio Varga. Es, eh, es nuestro nuevo hombre en el norte. Es, eh, es amigo de Tuco. <risa> de Tuco, de verdad. Ah. Entonces estás bien aquí. ¿no? Yeah. The only thing Tuco's crazy. <risa> yeah. Vamos a platicar tú y yo, ¿eh? Nos conocemos. That look he gave him, like. <laughs> ¿Cómo es que tú me vas a generar plata? Voy a abrir un nuevo territorio. Y mantener fuera la competencia. ¿Y a quién se lo piensas quitar? Para empezar, a las pandillas de motos. I'm waiting for the acceptance. Entonces tú piensas empezar una guerra. Con una bola de gringos en motos. Ese es tu plan. Esas bandas están divididas. Las enfrentamos. Uno contra otro. Y después las vamos eliminando. Uno por uno. He's not that bad. He's not stupid. No. I want to get out. I want to be free. Respeto. No quiero que nadie ni por un momento piense en jugarme la ahí. Yo no quiero tener que estar viendo por encima de mis hombros. All true. No quieres estar bien. Estás en el negocio equivocado, mi amigo. Oh, we know. We know. Me caes bien. Salud. Doing good. Doing good. That fucking fly. Doing good. Ooh. 